On June 11, 2007, two Green Berets, Sergeant First Class Antonio Gonzalez and Sergeant First Class Mark Rowland, were on a routine patrol with their team in Afghanistan when a nearby element of Afghan security forces came under intense fire. The 12-man Special Forces team had exited their two Humvees and was in the middle of eating lunch when they heard the Afghan security force request backup over the radio. But the team didn't waste any time quickly jumping back in their vehicles and heading directly towards the sound of small arms fire, rocket propelled grenades, and mortars. The enemy force was about 80 insurgents strong, but the Green Berets didn't wait for reinforcements to arrive. They were the reinforcements. With their Afghan allies pinned down and on the verge of being wiped out, it was on them and them alone to get the job done. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I hope you enjoy it. If you guys could do me a real quick favor and hit that like button, I would really, really appreciate it. I know lots of YouTubers just beg and beg for likes, but we are at just a constant battle with YouTube on trying desperately to share these incredible stories with as many people as possible, but it feels like I am constantly fighting against getting age restricted and videos removed and shadow banned like youtube just really does not like us so if you guys could hit that like button it really helps me fight against youtube and them trying to suppress all of these videos also guys going right along with that i've started uploading my videos onto spotify i'll have that link down in the description below if you guys could go to that spotify link and just leave a review like leave a rating on it that would help me out tremendously i'm trying to build up the community over there on spotify to try to get away of being so reliant on youtube because like i've mentioned a thousand times they really do not like us for whatever reason but anyway, guys, enough blab. We're not, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let's get into it. The team decided rather than pulling their vehicles right up behind their Afghan allies and facing the enemy head on, it would be better for them just to flank the enemy on their left hand side, pulling their vehicles up alongside them and surprising the enemy. As soon as their vehicles had line of sight of the enemy's position, Gonzalez eliminated a Taliban fighter with a belt fed machine gun. The remaining enemy fighters then sprayed the side of the Humvee with an AK-47 before retreating down into a trench out of line of sight. One of the AK rounds hit Roland's vehicle gunner in the chest plate, but thankfully the plate caught the round. With the enemy now taking position down in the trench, Roland and his gunner, who literally just took a round to his chest plate, quickly dismounted the Humvee and aggressively assaulted the trench. Roland threw a frag grenade into the trench waited for it to explode, and then jumped straight into the trench, landing within just a few feet of an enemy insurgent with an AK-47. Roland immediately eliminated that enemy insurgent, and his gunner eliminated another insurgent just a few feet farther back into the trench. With the trench now cleared out, the Green Berets were in a rough situation. Because at this point, all they've done really is stir the hornet's nest, and the 70 plus remaining enemy insurgents are not happy. The Green Berets now desperately needed to rally their Afghan allies to help them repel the attack, as it was only a matter of time before they got overrun by the enemy. Roland and his gunner then spotted a group of Afghan soldiers hunkered down in a hole nearby pinned down by enemy fire. Thinking the Afghans must have been huddled together around a casualty, Roland sprinted to their position through enemy fire to try to provide medical aid to the injured Afghan soldier. But once he got there, he realized that none of the Afghan soldiers were wounded, they were just pinned down by the enemy fire and refusing to move. Not far from their position, Gonzalez was in a very similar situation. He spotted a group of Afghan soldiers, four of them in total, hunkered down and not doing anything to contribute to the fight. He made multiple attempts to yell for the Afghan soldiers to make their way to his position, but he could not get them to move. So with complete disregard for his own life, Sergeant Gonzalez left his position behind his armored vehicle and ran 30 meters through the kill zone to the pinned down soldiers. He made three different trips through the kill zone, essentially dragging the Afghan soldiers back to the safety of his armored vehicle. 
each time risking his life under intense fire to rescue soldiers that were unable to maneuver on their own. The battle then raged on for several more hours, but quickly turned in favor of the Green Berets and their allies once the Afghan allies were back in the fight. By the time the dust settled, more than 60 enemy fighters were dead, including two Taliban commanders. Gonzalez and Roland both received silver stars for their heroic actions that day, and they had both already been awarded bronze stars for a previous battle not too long before this one. And that's going to be it for that story, guys. I've got one more story for you guys. If you guys could, again, please hit that like button. It helps me out so much, and I really appreciate it. Let's continue on with that next story. On July 31st, 2007, soldiers with the Army's 2nd Battalion, 503rd Infantry Regiment at Vehicle Patrol Base Saray in Afghanistan came under heavy attack. Staff Sergeant Christopher Up led a small group of soldiers towards the mortar pit where the platoon's 120mm mortar was positioned. Because of the weapon's range and its ability to fire devastating rounds with outline of sight, the mortar and the men manning it became a target. During the attack, an enemy mortar round hit near the pit, killing 1st Lieutenant Benjamin Hall. As the mortarmen ran towards the firing pit, they were forced to the ground more than once by enemy small arms fire and rocket propelled grenades. Once they reached the weapon system, a rocket propelled grenade exploded nearby, damaging the mortar's bipod. Shrapnel from the explosion tore a deep gash in Up's left forearm. The wound required 17 stitches. With the bipod damaged, Up had no choice but to use his hands and later his shoulders to lift the 110 pound burning hot cannon. Literally aiming the cannon with his bare hands, Up accurately fired 75 rounds at enemy positions, all while under constant enemy fire. The battle lasted just over an hour, and during that time, the enemy launched more than 10 107mm rockets, over a dozen rocket-propelled grenades, and rained down fire from at least two machine gun positions. When the fighting was over, Up ignored his own wounds and helped carry his fallen commander to the awaiting medical evacuation, refusing to leave the patrol base in order to stay behind in case the enemy attacked again. Later on in an interview, the unit's battalion commander said without a doubt the most dangerous place to be in that entire compound was the mortar pit. The enemy focused the majority of their fire on that mortar pit during the entire battle. Staff Sergeant Christopher Up received the Silver Star Medal for his actions that day. And with that guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said earlier, and I'm going to say it again, please hit the like button guys. I really want to make sure as many people as possible get to see this video and get to hear this story. I could care less about subscriber numbers. I could care less about any of that crap at all. I just want people to hear these stories. It's the whole reason that I'm doing this, guys. These stories need to be heard uh, more now than ever, for sure. So help me out. Help me share these stories. YouTube is undoubtedly going to suppress the heck out of this video. And the only thing that I know to do to help fight that is for you guys to hit that like button. So just do me a favor if you don't mind. Only if you enjoyed the video. If you've gotten this far in the video and you just freaking hate the video, obviously feel free to hit that dislike button. And please leave me a comment letting me know what I can do to make the next video better. I really don't care at all. But if you did enjoy the video, do me a favor and hit the like button. It helps me out tremendously. But anyway, guys, I'm going to stop blabbering on about that. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Get out there and crush this freaking day. Go to the gym if you haven't been already. It's important. Fitness is a is a goal that I'm working on right now, working hard at it. I've definitely got a bit of a dad bod right now, but I'm down 30 pounds uh, so far this year. I'm getting close to where I want to be, so get after it, guys. Get in the gym. It's important. Be healthy. Spend some time with your family. Do all that important stuff. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next video.